Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to do a quick speed test and compare AT&T's 5G Plus versus T-Mobile's Ultra Capacity versus Verizon's Ultra Wideband. I'm in the Greenway Plaza area. I'm on Drexel Drive right off of Highway 59, which you can see kind of in the background there, those cars driving past this Highway uh, 59. Anyway, this is one location where all three are showcasing their either low band or ultra uh, ultra wideband networks. I'm gonna do a quick side by side and compare. So let's all check right, it out. Left, we have Verizon's 5G ultra wideband, as you can see by the icon that says 5G UW. On the right, we have T-Mobile's 5G ultra capacity, as you can see by the 5G UC icon. So let's check it out. All right, so Verizon, clearly this is their low band ultra wideband because it's slower than typical LTE speeds. And you can see we got three, I got three bars of service right now. So probably on the fringe of whatever tower this is pulling from right now. So not the best. Uh, if you look over to T-Mobile, very impressive speeds uh, overall. So. Verizon coming in at 20.4 down, 4.5 up on their 5G ultra wideband. T-Mobile coming in at 493 down, 55.9 up on their ultra capacity. Now we have AT&T 5G Plus, which is either gonna be their low band capacity network or their ultra wideband. My guess is low band, because I don't think they have much um, millimeter wave here in Houston yet, but let's give it a shot and see how AT&T 5G Plus fares. All right, so AT&T 5G Plus coming in at 341 down, 51.9 up. All right guys, so as you can see in this specific location on Drexel Drive, T-Mobile uh, had the better performance from a download and upload perspective followed by AT&T and then Verizon bringing up the rear. That's pretty consistent in terms of all of my testing that I've done so far in Houston. I will tell you overall, AT&T has been the more consistent player in terms of speed performance. As of late, that's changing a little bit. I would say T-Mobile uh, is showing better performance, much more reliable in terms of uh, average download and upload speeds. They've just been killing both Verizon and AT&T. Uh, on that note, Verizon has a ton of ultra wideband and uh, uh, their, their low band capacity in the city of Houston, pretty much everywhere I go, I have the uh, ultra wide band indicator on my iPhone. So from a scalability standpoint, I think Verizon's uh, in the lead, uh, followed by T-Mobile and then AT&T. But uh, realistically, for the uh, average user in terms of just wanting service that's reliable, and reliably fast, I would say T-Mobile, then AT&T, then Verizon in the city of Houston. So hope this video helps. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, take care and peace out.